Hi friends, welcome to our NCN. Today we are going to learn how to paint a skyscape in daytime, in morning time, in evening time, and in a rainy day. I'm going to start the first skyscape. Firstly, wet the paper is using water, then Rosian was in the whole paper, and now I am adding shades using ultramarine blue and cerulean blue. Here you can see I am lifting whites in between in such a way the clouds in the front are broader and the middle clouds are shorter and this is enough to show perspective in the sky. As it is a skyscape so I am dedicating two third area to the sky. Now I am making the ground using gamboge and hooker's green. If you don't have hooker's green, you can use any other green of your choice. Now I am shading the clouds using a warm grey made of cerulean blue and scarlet. When I am saying grey or neutral that means it is made of mixing of cool and warm tone and warm and warm grey means tilt is towards warm color. Now I am adding some required detailing in ground. And this is here our first painting is almost done. This painting is showing a cloudy sky. Mostly in autumn time we can see this kind of clouds. Now I am starting our second painting. Starting painting with the giving raw sienna was in the whole paper. Giving gambo shade in the middle of the sky. And now adding little bit orange. Since it is a morning sky, so the mostly upper sky having a some purple kind of light and fresh look by giving pure ultramarine was now I am starting to paint the ground making clouds according to the direction of the light some lifting up to show the sun and some lifting up near the clouds to show the sunlight is passing through the clouds another most important thing in watercolor is that you have to show the light which is coming from the sky and falling somewhere in the ground here you can see I have made a light area in the ground adding some distant trees here you have to maintain the light so distant trees are a little bit darker adding some trees and giving some details here and there now coming to the our today's third watercolor painting in this painting i am going to show a evening time the starting was using raw sienna and gamboge in the whole paper.
now adding little bit orange and gamboge I am making the clouds and clouds are made of crimson, scarlet, brown sienna and adding little bit cerulean blue. Now making the middle ground more warmer using scarlet and orange was now i am making some buildings to show some urban settlement this sunset is little bit different from the previous video if you have not yet seen my previous video i am giving the link in the description you can watch it from there Adding some required detailing to show some buildings and some detailing to show the settlements here and there. I have used little bit monotonous color to paint the overall painting to show the a warm mood. And this is the sunset of a summer time, a warm sunset. some lifting off to show the sun this is here and our another painting is just completed lastly coming to the our last skyscape that is our a rainy skyscape so similar i am giving a rossi and was and using a warm grey to set the overall paper. Now I am using a cool grey to paint the clouds in the sky. Cool grey that means hair is tilted towards cool tone. The most fascinating thing about the rainy day is that everything has some grey and neutral shade into it. And most of the painting is done using desaturated colors. Making a road in the ground using one point perspective. Making the distant trees using cool tones. Making a tree to show dominance in the painting. And balancing the overall painting by giving little bit details here and there.
some details in the tree so some branches and some leaves in the tree if you have any questions regarding anything you can ask me in the comment section So this is here our all four painting is just done you can see I hope you have learned something from our today's video. Please subscribe our channel, like, comment, share and most of all, thanks for watching.